What's going on, everyone? Happy Thursday to everyone. Hopefully, everyone is doing well, staying safe, healthy. If you had to take a COVID test, hopefully you have tested negative. If you had to take a test for another virus, hopefully you have tested negative for that as well. If you did test positive for any virus, I hope you have a full and speedy recovery. And if it's COVID, I hope you do not have any long COVID issues. It is time now for the Thursday edition of the Virus Update for Thursday, October 10th, 2024. If you're new to my channel, Welcome to my channel. This is where I do the daily update on all the viruses that are out there, especially the COVID virus. So today, we will talk about other viruses. As you see, our first topic is going to be whooping cough. Yes, that's a virus that's a problem. And a lot of these viruses are a problem. We're coming into the winter months, so now we're going to be introducing RSV. The common cold is going to become more frequent. Flu, RSV, you know, all these different things that we will be keeping an eye on because you know it is that time of year and covid well that's a virus that it doesn't matter what the time of the year is if you're in the wrong place at the wrong time and someone's infected and you're standing next to them you could become infected too there can be a wave of covid that could form at any time of the year because new variants and new mutations are constantly forming with covid want to stay informed with all that well subscribe down below you'll know what the latest variant is of covid because well we talk about that stuff here on my channel so subscribe down below give this video a thumbs up if you like it the more people that hit that like button the more youtube's going to push this throughout the algorithm share this video with anyone you know hit that notification bell to be notified when i do my latest updates and of course leave any of your comments down below Alrighty, today we're going to take a look at several things. First off, some news stories, some new data from the UK on COVID and a few other viruses. Then some of our daily stuff. We will take a brief look at what's going on with Milton. We will take a look at air qualities, and we do have something to go with that. Wildfires, yes. And of course, we do have some... Uh, data from some different states today so lots to go over first off talking about whooping cough in louisiana and whooping cough cases they are not doing too well in louisiana it says lafayette louisiana the number of people coming down with whooping cough is on the rise and louisiana cases have more than tripled so far this year already this year the u.s has had about wow get this this is a big number Already the U.S. has had about 16,000 cases compared to about 4,000 cases in all of last year. Louisiana has seen 39 comp cases compared to 10 for 2023. So whooping cough cases are going up, but still, wow, 16, nearly 16,000 cases in the United States. That's a big number. It would be nice to see which state actually has the highest number. Maybe I'll research that and bring that to you. All right, up in the state of Washington, 18 individuals diagnosed with whooping cough are being advised to isolate. This is happening in the area of Washington State University. So be careful if you're in that area. Be careful anywhere. Like I said at the start of this video, there's a lot of viruses out there, and you need to know what's going on with all of them. Pneumonia, look at this. Doctors raise alarm as pneumonia cases spike in Indianapolis. In Indiana, yes, it's a problem there. Doctors are sounding the alarm about the rising pneumonia cases in Indianapolis. Now, it says here the state health department does not track the disease, but IU Health's urgent care locations in Indianapolis reported a 200% increase in cases from the last month. And, I, yeah, I've been seeing a few celebrities uh, lately. I think I tweeted one or two recently celebrities that say they had dealt with uh, pneumonia. So it's out there and just know that uh, pneumonia sometimes can go hand in hand with COVID as well. But back in the early days of COVID, uh, pneumonia was very common among people who had just recently recovered from COVID or had COVID. So yeah, this is uh, something that's not good, and it actually says here in quote, it's above what we would expect. So, yeah, not good. All right, moving on to that weekly update from the UK. And the UK this week reports that cases went up again, but it was not a huge increase this week. Weekly cases, 2,912. That was up by 78, or 
2.8%. Weekly deaths did drop this week, 128, that's down by 7. Healthcare, we know that lags. So patients admitted was 2,622. That is up by 149, or 6%. And we can see here on the chart, already, it looks like this mini, we'll call it a mini wave in the UK. It looks like maybe it's peaking or it's slowing down, but hey, We've seen this song and dance before, like back in the summer. It peaks, slows down, then it goes back up again. So we'll have to keep an eye on this. Influenza, it says your admission rate per 100,000 people is at 0.6. And then it says the test positivity rate is at 2.1%. And it says here it looks like there's been a slight increase in hospital admissions for that other respiratory viruses. And we do see here RSV, the positivity rate is 1.6%. Rhinovirus is at 17.1% positivity rate over in the UK. So while things are slightly going in the wrong direction, they're not absolutely terrible. And they could get worse as we head deeper into the cold season. So we head closer to the winter holidays. That's when we'll really have to pay attention. All right, moving on to what's going on with pollen levels for today. And we do see 49% of the country is in that low to medium status. And there is some medium, some oranges showing up down in Texas. All right, air qualities. We do have problems with air qualities today. And we're actually going to do a part two to our air quality check in just a moment. First off, the east is really doing well. The east coast is fine. But then you get to the plains and you start to see some problems wildfire smoke yes there are wildfires still in the mountains of the west coast and look at los angeles wow really bad air quality today in la that's not good to see the rest of california is not bad until you get to northern california and it would appear to me there's a wildfire up here as well i haven't uh, checked on this one but that definitely looks like a wildfire so i will have to investigate that one place that has been seeing wildfires that have been pretty much out of control is Wyoming. And we're going to take a look at that now. Montana and uh, Wyoming, you've been dealing with problems, mostly Wyoming. And it says here, massive wildfire in Wyoming expands to over 75,000 acres. That's a big fire for your state. And I do believe this is called the Elk Fire. As I said yesterday, I think I mentioned it yesterday, I saw a video with elk running away from the fire, which is that's just uh, so very sad to see. All right, now for the latest on Milton. And Milton is now a post-tropical cyclone. It is exiting Florida, but the damage is done. Over 3 million people have lost power in Florida because of Milton. There has been a lot of traffic today in Florida with people going back, coming back from where they stayed at the hotels. Again, if you stayed in a crowded hotel to evacuate from Milton, please keep an eye to make sure you don't have COVID symptoms or any other virus showing up. It's possible because of these crowded shelters or wherever you had to stay, it's possible COVID could have been running around. But once again, Milton did exit the coast, but man, the damage is done. The Tropicana, which is a, um, a stadium in Tampa Bay area, the roof, it blew off. Yeah, I saw pictures of a crane. A friend sent me a picture of a crane that, uh, crashed off of a building. I saw one picture. There was a dumpster. It ended up on top of a roof. How does that even happen? You know, a full-size, you know, one of them rectangular dumpsters. It ended up on a roof of a house. Yes. And then there was, of course, the tornadoes yesterday, which were just super impressive. Here's what's left of Milton. It looks nothing like it looked two days ago. Much less organized. It's exiting the coast. It will not impact any more land. It'll just continue out to into the ocean and eventually just become an area of cloud cover, just a weak area of low pressure that meanders in the ocean. And there it is, Tropicana Field. Yeah, take a look at that. Just ugh, heartbreaking to even see that. Want to follow more about this? You can go to my growing climate uh, X account. I say growing because we did gain quite a few followers during um, Milton. So. Follow me over there if you want to learn more about climate and weather. I'm sure there's going to be a lot more things to tweet about. I've already tweeted about the wildfire story that you just saw. Philadelphia yesterday. EMS incidents. 854 of them were recorded. Now let's do a live look in. And mind you, I have not checked this for myself this afternoon. So it may be surprising to me. Oh, wow. Yes. Like I said, maybe surprising to me if things are busy in the burbs because 
I'm seeing this at the same time you are, because I have not been following this today. And wow, yeah, it looks like it's busy right now. 17 calls, did say 18 a minute ago. I'm seeing the word cardiac several times. That's not good. Seizures, overdoses, which the that's a problem within itself. How about Chester County? Oh my, wow. Look at Chester County. Unknown nature, falls, stroke, cardiac arrest. Where's this at? West Goshen Township. Uh, abdominal pain, seizure, sick person, sick person, heart problems, respiratory difficulty, heart problems again, falls, heart problems yet again. Yeah, really busy right now, Jessica. That's not good. And let's see what's going on. This I already refreshed this. You know what? Let's refresh it again just to be sure. Maybe it didn't update yet when I refreshed it earlier today. Nope, everything's the same. This is Pennsylvania COVID wastewater, which does update again on Thursdays. And it looks like everything remains status quo. Still have this one wastewater site in Chester County, Pennsylvania. It's just north of West Chester, which is a uh, town in uh, Chester County. And yeah, it, it's still showing that there's an increase. It just will not start to drop for some reason. All right, taking a look at the viral levels at what's going on up in Canada. And it should be the same. I don't think it updated. High levels of COVID-19 detected. Flu is low for both A and B, RSV is listed as moderate at this time. All right, taking a look at the national positivity rate for Walgreens this week, it is at 18.4%. The prior week was at 21.8%. They were so down 3.4%. Total test, 6,492. The prior week was 7,788. All right, let's take a look at wastewater, and I think we will take a look at a couple wastewater sites. Let's go up to Utah. Let's see what's going on in the Salt Lake area. And we can see here for COVID, things are low at this time. RSV is very low, almost not even detected. Influenza A is extremely low. Influenza B is low. HMPV is low. Norovirus is listed as medium at this time. And I've been watching norovirus. Let's go to the national level for just a second. Because norovirus on the national level, take a look at this. Yeah, it's rising now, so it's something we're going to have to keep an eye on. And if you recall, last year, norovirus actually got uh, pretty serious at one point. So it's something we will definitely continue to keep an eye on. Can we take a look at Winston sale in North Carolina? Yes, we can. I'm glad we haven't looked at this in a while. COVID, it's listed as medium. And you know what? Your COVID levels are actually rising a little bit at this time. RSV is low, influenza A, influenza B, HMPV, norovirus is low at this time, and everything else is not an issue at this time. So that is some good news. Taking a look at what's going on from the CDC, and I do want to show you the latest variant proportions. This is going to update tomorrow. But as of the last update, KP 3.1.1 is at 58.7%. And XEC is at 6%. I'm hearing some estimates that maybe tomorrow when it comes in, it's going to come in around 10%. Don't quote me on that, though. We'll see. We will not know until tomorrow. Hopefully, the CDC does update like they're supposed to. Because remember, Indeed Just People weekend is coming. So who knows? That is going to impact some reporting over the weekend in states such as New Jersey. And I do need to refresh this. New Jersey and probably New York. We'll probably see a lot of hospitals not report New Jersey. And I don't think we'll get anything out of New York State on Monday. New Jersey has 69 out of 70 hospitals reporting 277 hospitalizations. Six people are on a ventilator at this time. And we'll take a look at the ICUs if we can. There it is. 35 people in the ICU and discharges at this time. 36. So glad to see that number going down. And I do need to refresh New York State. New York State had 560 new cases. That's actually, if that's correct, that would be really good. And yeah, that is saying on the 10th. But this now, I think that's the number we reported on yesterday. Because even, even with the numbers coming down, it should be higher than that for Thursday. Because remember, New York City does sometimes get included. Yeah, these hospitalizations did not update as well. We should be at the third day of the week, and we're not. All right, let's take a look at some notes now from CJS83172. And it's quite a few things here today. So, daily weekday reporting states. Florida. And again, he said, well wishes are to those 
about to be or currently being slammed by Milton, and Milton was a, a bad storm yesterday. 389 new cases and 50 new deaths. New Jersey, 236 new cases and 3 new deaths. New York State had 670 new cases yesterday. Puerto Rico, 230 new cases and 2 new deaths. Weekly reporting states, Arizona, 1,752 new cases and 19 new deaths. Colorado, 1,922 new cases and 16 new deaths. Delaware reported 262 new cases and 9 new deaths, a relatively high number for the first state. Indiana, 1,197 new cases and 24 new deaths, all since the first week of September. New Mexico, 660 new cases and 9 CDC reported deaths. Nevada added 437 new cases. Oregon added 971 new or previously underreported positive tests and a still reducing test case positivity rate. South Dakota added 2,296 new cases and 14 new deaths spanning the last five weeks. Tennessee, 1,000. 769 new cases and 26 new deaths. Washington, 1,606 new cases and 22 deaths. And I forgot to add this here, but he did also say that Connecticut's COVID or respiratory dashboard for the, you know, the 2024-2025 season is back up and running. So I'll have to uh, take a look at that for myself, and maybe I'll pull that back up into the things that we show here. All right. Moving on now, let's take a look at what is going on in Ohio for this week. And Ohio's cases this week continue to drop. They have really come down from the rise that they saw over summertime. The three-week trend is, you can clearly see it here, it is going down. And they reported 2,921 new cases. And a three-week trend for hospitalizations, 133 ICU admissions have dropped to four, and the total number of deaths, that continues to drop, that is down to 31. So some really good news in the state of Ohio. Let's see what's going on in Colorado, and I do need to refresh this to make sure it is up to date. Currently hospitalized in Colorado, just down by two, and that's 143. Emergency department visits diagnosed with COVID, that is at 0.9%, that's down by 0.1%. The positivity rate is 8.1% percent that's down that's really dropping down by 1.9 percent but for some reason your cases did go up 1915 that is up by 265 and let's take a look at the state of washington real quickly we want to take a look at what's going on with your dashboard and we'll see what's going on with the hospital metrics in your state if it does come up there we go we can see COVID-19 ICU beds being occupied 22 people that is down by one and we do know the percent of emergency department visits it's dropping but for influenza it actually did go up at this time admissions though did not go up for influenza or RSV just yet and in the ICU no one for influenza at this time. Alrighty folks, that does it for the Thursday edition of the virus update. We will have another virus update again tomorrow. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe down below, hit that notification bell, share this video with anyone you know, and of course leave your comments down below. A quick reminder, my website is datareport.info. There are several things and I do mean several things that I am behind on there. I will work to slowly try and catch up on that. Maybe not this evening. If it's this evening, it's going to be late this evening, tonight, or maybe tomorrow evening. I am going to go out to work this evening. So, yeah, I will see you all again next time. Until I see you again next time, stay safe, everyone, and have a fantastic Thursday evening. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.